And we also have a double act for the next award, which is the International Women's Day Community Volunteers of the Year Award for Sydney 2022. The first one is Bettina Nissen. Come on through, Bettina. So, Bettina, in recognition of your long life dedication as a community volunteer, storyteller, photographer and creative arts coordinator, that is renowned locally and nationally. You have worked tirelessly for many decades to support children and families impacted by trauma. As a librarian, now retired, your efforts to work with other local community groups and families to engage in early learning and reading activities is very special. We have helped feed the hungry mouths at Coros Community College tribal lunches and engage with little people with the magic of cooker while rekindling for many of us our connections with our inner child and the wonderful world of words through reading and storytelling. As one Sydney member said, Bettina is a kind and generous soul, always putting others before herself. Her kind nature is nurturing to both young and old. It's such a pleasure to know Bettina. I think she's a blooming amazing and such an incredible mentor to others. I'm always learning from her. Sydney members are looking forward to stretching our wings and being part of the Migratory Birds Project at Deception Bay. So, congratulations. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. Wow. I first joined Simney in 2012 and then I went up north for nearly seven years and only have been back just over two years. I came back as a volunteer, so I'd left the paid workforce. And if there was one thing that I always wanted, it was to be able to give, to actually do so many of the things that I did without necessarily doing it for money. First of all, in that there comes storytelling. But part of storytelling is what I do is to bring language and confidence with words to small children and families because language is the way we navigate the world. Simni has provided me with the opportunity to follow so many of my interests. Not only do I go out with Cooker and the um, Paint the Town Red program, they're now adopting the Shorebirds program, which is to support the migratory shorebirds. And we're hopefully, we're getting Microlite Millie here, who is a young woman who has built a Microlite, has learned to fly it, and is going to follow the path of the migratory shorebirds. She should be here in June or July. And <laughs> we'll have to welcome her, I hope, at our new environment centre. That's what I'm aiming for. Um, but it's also offered lots of chances as I've learnt new things. For example, last year I had the chance to do the Inspirational Women of Moreton Bay exhibition at the library. That was fantastic. I'd actually worked with um, people putting together exhibitions before, but I'd never had the chance to try those skills out for myself. I really enjoyed the Kairos lunches, though sometimes I called it extreme volunteering. <laughs> um, and I really look forward to working with Kairos again this year as they take up the shorebirds. So thank you, Simni. Thank you, all of my Seroptimus sisters. Um, we are all that one woman, definitely. Thank you. Thank you.